Over 50 years ago, lights in the sky made everybody blind who saw them. And spores fell as a new type of plant, the triplets came to learn. The day of the triffids, when terror reigned from the sky. <laughs> When the Earth orbits into a nightmare. When the solid world of everyday reality disintegrates. And the whole population is driven by fear towards insanity. The day of the Triffids, when destruction closes in from every side. Pilot, is he blind too? Blind, 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 blind. Starvation, fire, pestilence. Anyone caught in the middle of it doesn't stand a chance. I think we ought to get out of here and go on to Spain. How can you know it's any better there? I don't. It doesn't seem to have any central nervous system. Then how does it move? All plants move. And they don't usually pull themselves out of the ground and chase you. Plants have consciousness. And maybe they can hold a grudge. Well, these triffids tried to conquer the world so long ago, and they failed. Then they got domesticated. Now, I am Fix presenting you today, The Day of the Triffids, Part 2, where the triffids try to reconquer the world. Let's look what happens. <laughs> How did it happen? How did the world get swallowed up so quickly? It was because we had our eyes closed, even when we could see. And we let them get too close. It had been 30 years since my mother was killed by a triffid. She was trying to understand them. I've been doing the same ever since. For me, it's always been personal. For the rest of the world, the triffids were simply a practical solution. They contained an oil that quickly replaced fossil fuels. Triffids became man's best friend. But they didn't see the consequences. And I couldn't get them to listen. We're disconnecting this triffid. Confirmed. Triffid tether deactivated. That? Dr. Mason, you're clear to start your reaction test. You're trying to get something else out of the troops, Dr. Bill? Yeah, I suppose I am. You really think they can actually hear? Or like they can feel sound waves. Action time. If it is getting faster with the whole new generation, they seem to be evolving on their own. Uh, Lucy. Tizza. Oh, Breeding triffids for their oil came at a price. The oil companies were forced to lock them away and keep the world in the dark. Take a wedge check. Sir, can I see your papers? There were those who thought we shouldn't interfere with Mother Nature. yet were ignorant to the danger that waited inside the refinery walls. Waiting for the chance to be free.
We have an auction security breach. Received and understood. Head to the traffic. Do not enter the orchard without backup. Negative. Never last that long. I'm going in now. All units to the orchard immediately. Or she gets it again. So what goes on in here then, huh? What are you hiding? Put her glasses back on and then we can talk. Glasses? Please, put them on. Please. I don't think so. Put mine on her. Please. You do I know who you are. Dr. Bill Mason. I bet the Triffids know exactly what you are. You should listen to them, Doctor. Huh? Might learn something. Instead of stealing their oil, messing with their genes. What's wrong? You lost your tongue. Huh? You got an opinion, Doctor? Yeah! Get You. Must have been a young plant. Venom sac's not fully developed yet. You hold on in there, Dr. Bill. We'll be in London soon. They say it will be the greatest light show ever. Northern light seen as far south as Hawaii, a veritable rainbow of comets. But is it another result of the global cooling Triffid scientists have been boasting about or something else? With me is astrophysicist Edward Vorlis. Welcome, Professor. So tell me, do we have the Triffids to thank for the fireworks, too? Oh, we can certainly thank the Triffids, or at least their marvelous oil for saving us from global warming. But the fireworks, no. So, what is the cause? The sun. Tonight we will see its true power. It will unleash a solar storm, an unbelievably vast explosion of gas and nuclear fire that will send billions of tons of irradiated plasma shooting towards the Earth. And is there any risk to us, any precautions we should take? Only if you are a satellite. We humans will suffer no harm. We should sit back and enjoy the fireworks. Well, thank you, Professor. So, tonight we'll be covering this phenomenon from round the globe. My bosses are even putting me on camera. You know, you people should come clean how dangerous these plants are. Tell me, why do triffids always go for the eyes? I don't know. Well, you should find out. As I'd say, you have a 50-50 chance of losing your sight. Or of keeping it. Hello, I'm Joe Clayton, coming to you from the heart of London. 
and the sky really is quite spectacular. It's like the aurora borealis, only a lot brighter. We can see the bloody sky, Joe. Talk to some people. Get them on camera. Three. So we're going to go to Sydney. Jim, you're up. Uh, Joe, bring him in. Um, of miles away. Later, I'll be talking to people here yeah, and getting their reactions. Sound. But now, let's go over to Jim Watts in Sydney. Over there, Jim. The sun is so bright, it's really hard to see the sky. Joe, Yet people have get yourself down the tube. Uh, talk to some people who are ignoring this whole damn thing. Look, make it entertaining, will you, love? All right, I'm trying. Just a few minutes. Uh, how long do you think you'll... back for you, Dr. Bill. How long will he be out for? At least 24 hours. Shame we'll miss the light show. Is everything okay? Yeah. Looks like it's about to start. about that night about what it would have looked like some said it was glorious as if the heavens ignited and God himself was conducting the show it started and it's unbelievable we never expected anything like this and we get reports that it's the same all over the world Is or is it them? Come on, people, why are we losing these? And there's another one. Can someone tell me what's going on? the time, the hour and the minute, when the world went dark, when the world changed, when the clock started ticking, counting down. Hello? Nurse? Are you a doctor? Yeah, 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 but no. I need mm. you to look at my eyes. Yeah, but I'm not that kind of a doctor. What? What's happening? What's going on? Hello? 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 You have a 50 50 chance of losing your sight. At least 24 hours. Well, you people should come clean out of dangerous these plants. Oh. You have a 50 50 chance of losing your sight. Tell me, why do trickers always go for the You should come clean out of dangerous these You have a 50 50 chance of losing your sight. At least 24 hours. Tell me, why do trickers always go for the eyes?
Matthew, is that you? No. No, it's it's not Matthew. They did something to my eyes. I, I need to find the doctor. There aren't any. I want to go home. Listen, I'm, I'm going to go and find out what's happened, and then I'll come back for you, okay? Oh, no. No. Please. Please. I will come back. Please. Mason, you, you operated on me yesterday, on my eyes. I can see. Yes, I, I, I can see. I can see. What's, what's happening? What's happening? Everyone's blind, but not you. What? I don't understand. What do you mean everyone's blind? It must have been the sun, the solar storm, everyone's staring at the sky. You couldn't watch it, could you? I'll get help. I'll get help. Look, there must be someone who knows what's going on. I'll get help. Let me go. Listen to me. Let me go. Listen to me. It went up. But if there were more people like you, what do you mean like me? Come home with us, please. I'd like to. Please, 
Can you see for us? Can she see? Can you look? I have to get home myself. I. Come with me. Help me. Don't let go of me. Help me first. Then you can go. Come with you. All right. I know her voice. Your person, you can go. She's on the radio. I mean it. It's Joe Payton. She's getting away. Joe. Where is she going? Please, no, she's going! Please! Turn away! Run, been a bit crazy everywhere. What are you doing? You're drunk. No. <laughs> not anymore, I'm not. Get in the car. Officer. <laughs> Officer, I need... I need help. Go to the police station. What's she done? Under arrest. <laughs> Where is she? Hold that man! Please! Please! He's got my gun! Where is she? Where is she? You okay? Mm, thank you. I'm I'm Joe. Bill. Bill Mason. We'll be all right. Mm. Where are you going? Whitehall. I have to find someone in authority who knows what's happening. I mean, who knows how long the power's gonna last. The power? Isn't that the least of our worries? The electricity on the farms could go down. The farms? The Triffitt farms.
Nothing. No network. Shit. Is it just us? That's what we need to find out. How come you missed the show? I was in the hospital for an eye operation. What is that? No, this is a secure area. But we're sighted. There are no sighted left. Oh, you're what, five ten, ginger hair, and you look just as scared as the rest of us. Please let us in. If I let you in, will you check if there's anyone else inside? Why are you letting us in? We need help. Move, water. Stay where you are, Sergeant. Let us through. Enough, now get back. Why aren't you letting us in? Oh, now, stay where you are. Get back on my metal shoes. I can't even see. Now get back. Get back from the gate. I've got his gun. Government blind policemen shooting each other. I've got to get to my dad. I've, I've got to make sure he's okay. Well, you must have family, right? Someone close? No. I have to get going. Where to? Back to where I work. Well, it's falling apart and you have to check on some plants. If it's on, there's some plants. Listen, say goodbye and... one.
power can't have failed this soon. It doesn't make sense. What did this? Triffords. Uh, I don't understand. You're, you're telling me that Triffords can move? And do this to people? Yes. Keep your eyes open and keep moving. The orchard's been breached as well. <laughs> what is this place? It's where the Mill Triffords are confined. Or well, should be. Stay close. She was my friend. You people knew. You knew that they were dangerous, and yet it never got out. <laughs> Triffid oil saved the world from global warming. Do you think it would have made any difference if you had known? Ready? At least you have a generator. Till the trifoil runs out. There's a sofa, you should get some rest. What are you gonna do? I need to get my research before it's too late. Oh, well, will you take me to my dad's? He, he, he lives near Windsor. It's miles from the Triffid Farms. I spent my whole life working with Triffids, trying to make sense of them. And now my obsession seemed more important than ever. that sound? Triffid recordings. They're communicating. So, what are they saying? It's what I've been trying to work out. It's the basis of my research. This device contains years of Triffid's communications. I've proved the signs of evolving intelligence. So far, I've failed to work out what they're saying. And now they're free. Come on, let's get your dad. are there? Across the world, tens of thousands. In England, 500. Each one holds about 20,000 triffids. 10 million meat-eating plants. How do they reproduce? 
same as other plants. The males pollinate the females. That's why it was essential that we controlled the males. And now they're out. Joe, we have to go. Bill, stop the car. over and the day of the Triffids had begun. We need to warn people. Emergency broadcast from the BBC in London. Most of the people in the United Kingdom, and we believe the world, have been struck blind. There is no government, but there is a bigger threat to us at this time. With me is Triffid expert Dr. Bill Mason. Dr. Mason, what do people need to know about the Triffids? They're extremely dangerous. And how are they dangerous? What do they do? Well, Triffids are large carnivorous plants that can move independently but because of the blinding they've escaped and so they're no longer being fed on the farm they've started they've started to um we know that they have started to attack and eat people
They have a fatal sting capable of reaching uh, up to 15 feet and they make a distinctive rustling, tick-tocking kind of noise. So if you hear or, or see one, you, you must keep, keep your distance. Where do you think that the triffids are heading? They'll gravitate towards the cities, to where the most abundant source of food is. Us. So if you are sighted, then arm yourselves and do what you can to protect those around you, especially the blind, and tell anyone that you can. My parents were botanists and they researched the triffids in, in Zaire. I was six, so I was with them. It was my father that saw with um, some genetic modification the tremendous opportunity for oil production. So he brought them back. All of this is his fault. Hmm. Well, no. He provided us with a cheap, endlessly replaceable, pollution-free source of fuel that solved the energy crisis. He saved the world. <laughs> My mother felt differently. Where are they now? Well, I haven't seen my father for years. We don't get on. And my mother, she died in Zaire of a triffid sting. Really is it, isn't it? I'm afraid so. For the future. No. To the past. It was beautiful. And we didn't take care of it. Hello? Who are you? I'm from MI5. I'd like to see the Prime Minister. This is where he lives, isn't it? You'll need to make an appointment. Of course. Hilda. Who are you? I'm Torrance. I'll just have a look around. You can't. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I'm brilliant. 
I'll be next door. Do you know what? It's all the same. As you stand here. Morning, Helda. You can't stay here. Well, oh, the PM's not coming back, I take it. Out running the country. He's gone, they, they all have. Well, then it's just you and me. There must be others. There's an emergency broadcast on the radio. Well, play it for me, Helda. With me is Triffid expert, Dr. Bill Mason. Dr. Mason, what do people need to know about the Triffids? They're extremely dangerous. And how are they dangerous? What do they do? Well, Triffids are large, carnivorous plants that can move independently, but because of the blinding... You haven't got anything to eat, have you? So no longer A sandwich? Farm. I'll make it. We started to, um... Then we can go for a little drive. Hmm? Joe, Joe, wake up. Just saw two flares coming from the city. A signal? Yeah. Which means there's other people. People like us, pe people who can see. from the city. Bill, who is that? <clears throat> Hello? Hi. I'm Torrance. Heard on the radio there's a bit of panic developing about Triffids. <laughs> Judging from the mess here. I think they're right. Help yourself to guns. To do with some weapons. I'm Joe. You on your own? Why'd you ask? We're going to the city. We believe there's a sighted group there. Tell you what, why don't you come and join my group? Who's in it? I think we're fine on our own. Okay. See you down the road. Torrance? Yeah. How come you can see? Luck! I'm a naval engineer. Miniature submarines. Got caught doing a routine maintenance when all that went up. People I was with. Oh. Enjoy the weather. Joe. Enchanté.
Seat belt on, please, Hilda. people fed and safe but i can't do it on my own everyone who can see can easily look after those who can't one day they'll find a cure and these people will find out who helped and who looked away these people have every right to live the same as you that's enough you and your friends must move along we're not going anywhere Come on, guys. Release her. My man will shoot. No. Shoot the blind? You wouldn't dare. Over their heads. One round. I think the next one's quiet. Don't you have any compassion? You don't deserve to have your sight. None of you do. It's not over. What should we do? I need to know if these people can help. Go ahead. Crawl in there with the rest of the cowards. There are 30 of us so far, all sighted, and another 10 highly skilled blind. We expect more will come. We have our own generator. Who are you? I'm Michelle Beadley. I work at the Home Office. So there is still a government? No, there's just us. If you want to join us, you'll have to pull your weight. To do what exactly? To forage for essential supplies. The Colonel has lists of what we need. So what plans have you made to defend yourselves against the Triffids? I'm more concerned about our nuclear power stations than Triffids, Mr. Mason. It's Dr. Mason, and nuclear power stations can't move. Triffids can. The Triffids will stay on the farms. They won't. And they're not. Excuse me? I've read the official research. In that the event... research was commissioned by the Trifoil companies. Triffids need food, meat. If it's not there, they'll go and get it. And the biggest available source of food is us. They're large, slow, easy to avoid. Not if you're blind. Triffids have been genetically modified to die within three years, and the male plants are under strict control on the farms. Kingston Farm was sabotaged, and the male plants have escaped. And when they start to pollinate the females, the situation will be catastrophic. It will take, what, months, weeks? It could be days. Whatever emergency plans there were, they clearly can't be implemented. Therefore, our, our priorities remain as food, fuel, weapons and accommodation. And what about the Triffids? Well, you're the expert. What would you do? Don't worry. I promise to look after you, and I will, one way or another. Major Coca. Major Coca. I'm Torrance. Torrance. Hey. I was driving. I saw you. Uh, need any help? You bet. The blind won't survive on their own, so we're planning to round up all the sighted we can, if they want to help or not. Have you seen Dr. Mason? No. Let's come to order. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> we face what happened to Britain when the Romans left, 1,600 years ago. Everything will crumble. Roads, railways, hospitals. This is our proposal. 
we find somewhere in the country and then we start to rebuild. Have you had news from other countries? Is there any help on its way? We think what happened here happened everywhere. We're not expecting any help from outside. And what about the blind? I'm afraid we have no plans for them. We have no alternative. We are too few, they are too many. We can't look after them, we can't feed them. I see no way to save them. And no point in dying with them. It's wrong. It's so wrong. Bill? You're leaving? Where are you going? Go to my father's place in Sherling. But I've got to work out how to deal with them. Well, you better go then. Look, it's not my first choice. It's my only choice. You know, I'm clutching at straws. He may not even have survived. I don't know. His, you know, his original research, it might help. But we're running out of time. I'm coming with you. Joe. Joe, you may not agree with Beadley, but you'll have a much better chance of survival if you stay with her. She's wrong. What they're doing is ruthless. Joe, you need people. I don't need these people. You'll be safer with her. Joe, we were an accident. Oh, we met by accident, but... We stayed together on purpose, didn't we? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, Can you stand? Yeah. Hold on. Attention all sighted. Each of you will be handcuffed right. to a blind citizen. Bring it on. It is now your job to keep them alive. Oh. Right. Move. I'm Jeff. Sorry about all this. Don't be. It's not your fault. I used to be a mechanic. I want a bad old life as long as it lasted. Well, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. Why, well, because you can still see. <laughs> Rather you than me, mate. Hey, sorry about the strong-arm tactics, but you weren't going to help us of your own accord. Coco, what's going on? You've been split into groups. Decided it'll take care of the blind. Make sure they have food and shelter. We're going to divide London into sections. And what do you find to do in these sections? I mean, about the Triffids. The Triffids aren't our priority. Yeah, well, they should be. We've seen what they can do, and so has he. What matters now is organization. 
What's your role in all of this? My role? I thought you said you were on your own. Then I met Major Coco. His plan to take over London interests me. I'm sorry, Joe. All right, guys, we'll take you to your sections. Let's load up, guys. Look after Helda for me, Joe. Here we go, on the truck. Double time, everybody. Charms, come on, help out. Guides, we'll leave you to your sections. Let's load up. Here we go. I'll get moving when I'm good and ready. Get in the truck. Here we go. Coker sent sighted and blind to forage for food and water. His heart was in the right place, but he was ignoring the threat of the encroaching Triffids, delaying me from getting to Sherning and the solution I was hoping to find there. Coming with me. Let's do it. Where are we going? Taking over your pub, psycho. What's your name? Vronsky. You gotta pay. <laughs> we don't gotta do nothing. What you doing, you prat? That's disturbing. What is it? It's Triffid recordings. Something I've been working on. Discover anything interesting? Maybe. As long as it isn't attracting them to us. I thought Major Coca said they weren't important. Major Coca wants to talk to you, Joe. Me? Why? Read your name off the list. Realize you're behind the emergency broadcast. He'd like you to do another. Seems you're the famous Joe Platon. I always thought there was something special about you. No, I just work on the radio, that's all. Well, that's the thing. See, Major Coker was in the U.S. Air Force. Appreciates the, uh, the, uh, importance of clear communication. Good for Major Coco, but, um, tell him I'm fine where I am. Look, Joe, people know your voice. We think we can get a transmitter going, and you can talk to the people. You can reassure the afflicted, just like you're doing with Hilda. Yeah, well, thanks for the offer, but like I said, I'm fine where I am. You heard what she said, Torrance. Major Coker's going to be very disappointed. Seems you prefer hanging out with Dr. Mason than saving your country.
jackpot. Buddy out. How'd you know about this place? Charlie led us here. I worked here half my life before the blinding. Night watchman. Not much of a night watchman now, are you? All right, Osman. Rope up. Corker. Corker. Will you shut up about the Triffids and help? Charlie. You're the watchman. Stay here and watch. Three groups. Osman, Cheryl, Vronsky, get water. Joe, Hilda, canned goods. Bill, medical supplies. Got it? You think? Keep your eyes open. That's supposed to be funny. The Taurus commence. Coker? Breathing you, Major. I need you to come to the warehouse and give us backup. This place is full of supplies. Understood. You're gonna need a bigger car. So what was it like being a star? Rosky, come on. All right, make it quick. Oh, yeah. There. What's this? Jeez. Smell. Rotting meat. Will someone tell me what happened?
Shut up. Shut up. Don't leave me. Osman? Osman! Osman! Don't leave me! Faster, faster, faster! <laughs> oh, my leg! Oh, this is the end, baby! Come on, help! Come on! She's gone. Uh, Joe, she's gone. Uh, Come on. Uh, 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 Get her in the van. Uh, 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 is this what you wanted? Is it? Is this what you wanted? Sorry. I'm sorry. I should have listened. You've got to get to Shining, with or without me. Hey! Your man, Osmond, is a coward. And I want Bill Mason on our team. You get him whatever he needs to deal with the Trivets. Of course, Major. Excellent idea. Leave it to me. Kids, we're leaving. wasn't for Bill, I wouldn't even be here now. Yes, he's, he's quite the hero, isn't he? And he's our only hope against the Trophids. Uh, you wanted to see me? I did. Uh, <clears throat> about the radio broadcast for Major Coco. I've changed my mind, and if there's anything I can do to help, I'd like to do it before Bill and I leave for his father's. Well, um, we will be delighted. What would be fantastic is if you could record something right now. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. After you. See him there. This is Radio Britain, and I'm Joe Clayton coming to you live from London. Please listen carefully to the following announcement. Triffids are now known to have reached major cities across the country. As you know, these plants can and will kill humans. Therefore, Major Coca has asked that every citizen, both sighted and unsighted, help to fight them. Please register with army personnel who will make themselves known to you in your area. And this is Joe Payton coming to you live from London. Major Coco has asked that every citizen of both sighted and unsighted to fight them. Coco has asked that every citizen of both sighted and unsighted. 
firefighters and help to fight them. For all volunteers, please register with the army personnel who will make themselves known to you in your area. Come on! Mason, you're under arrest! Orders from the boss! No, he's not. Oh, shut up. who will be making themselves known to you in your area. I repeat, this is Joe Clayton coming to you live from London. Can you come with me, miss? Uh, yeah, sure. Mason. Mason. Mason! Oh. Mason. It's Coker. Coker? Yeah. What happened? He got shot. Where are we? Being taken up to the heath. Why are we going to the heath? Orders. From Torrance. It's all Torrance. It's running the whole show now. Where's Joe? Torrance has her, too. Wow. Is this yours? This is yours. Say thank you. Oh, well, thank you, but there's no need. I'm only trying to help. Yeah, you know, I'm tired. I, I think I'm going to go back and join the others. Thing is, you may not want to act uh, just at the moment. What's going on, Torrance? Something's happened. Okay, Major Coker needed Bill to help out on another Triffid attack, and he's saved the lives of many blind people. I'm sorry. He's dead, Joe. <laughs> what? <sighs> they found these things amongst his stuff. I want to see him. No, you don't. I mean, it was a vicious attack. Major Coker says he's very sorry. and chuck him out. Do it.
Give me the keys. Give me the damn keys. Now move in front of me. Get in front of me. Do it. Alive. Is he? When you're better, you'll see clearly. I was thinking today about missed opportunities. Sometimes you have to act. I'm Joe Clayton, and you're not alone. Just because the whole world's going crazy doesn't mean you can't have that bad Ah! Ah! Oh, oh. Outside these walls is chaos. Try shoot Mason. Maybe we'll have to accept that Triffids really are the dominant species. I'll get you a male Triffid. Mother Nature's finally taking her revenge and reclaiming the planet. It had been 30 years since my mother was killed by a Triffid. She was trying to understand them. I've been doing the same ever since. Hello, I'm Joe Clayton, coming to you from the heart of London. Where do Triffids always go for the air? Stop! Dr. Crotch, it's me, Bill Mason. What's happening? This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Most of the people in the world have been struck blind. There is no government. These people have every right to live. Over there, guys. I'm Torrance. Yeah, there's a bit of panic about Triffids. Triffids are carnivorous plants that can move. Their most abundant source of food is ice. <laughs> I've got to get to my father's place in Sherman. We're going to work out how to deal with them. <laughs> You've got to get the turning with or without me. Mason, you're under arrest. Ah! Being taken up to the heat. It's all Torrance. It's run the whole show now. It was a vicious attack. He's dead, Joe. Where do you think you're going, boys? Stay where you are! Don't move! I ain't gonna tell you again.
had it. The weather's getting worse. We're gonna have to walk. Try to find some shelter. At least the snow will slow him down. So if it's a million years to survive in any weather. This is Radio Britain calling to you live from London. Calling all citizens, men, women, and children, if you are sighted, help the blind. Come to London. Here you'll find safety, food, and shelter. Gathering points have been set up around the M25. Make your way there, and you'll be safe. I'm Joe Clayton, and you're not alone. Shot in the shoulder. Oh. Thank you, Father Thomas. I'll clean the wound and close it, then you'll need some serious rest. You were lucky your friend brought you here. I was lucky I found you. I don't believe in luck. Mother Superior. You were meant to come here. Meant to be cured. Body and soul. I hope you will stay. Here, we we're all equal. Oh. When you're better, you'll see clearly. London will seem like another world. Who's in charge in London? We don't get any news. There's no London now, Father Thomas. It's only us. If I was going to make it to Schwerling, I had to stop, regain my strength. But I knew the Triffids would never rest. They would continue to hunt us down, find populated places, march towards London, towards Joe. Are we winning? Yes. So my messages are getting through. Absolutely. More people every day. Let me explain all this. The blue areas, right? We control. The red areas, we defend. Green is triffles. That's an awful lot of green. Well, still the safest place in the country. The important thing is that we survive. I mean, you're still here. I'm still here. Yeah. I wish Bill was. He could have helped us. Yeah, well, Bill's dead, all right? And you say that uh, Major Coke is too busy running the country? Hmm? I mean, what's his plan? The broadcasts were his idea, after all. Well, to be honest, Major Coke is struggling. 
I mean, it's people like you and me that are keeping things going. I mean, you, you're brilliant. You're bringing them in. That's what they say. I heard Joe on the radio. I heard her voice. That's why I came. Have dinner with me. Dinner? Yeah, just... Oh. Um, just... Just two of us. As if everything was just normal. It's the way you survive. By insisting that everything is normal. We're refusing to give in. Sheer force of will. That's why these people follow me, because they know I'll never give in. Following you? Just because the whole world's going crazy doesn't mean you can't have a little bit of fun. Well, you know what? That is really sweet of you. Maybe next time. Okay? How long have they been there? At least as long as we have. I don't understand. Why aren't they hunting? Food must be getting scarce. There's so much of it in the Abbey. Yeah, I asked her about that and she said... She? In Durant, she's the Mother Superior. She's in charge here. I want to see her. Go with peace in your heart. Dear Father Thomas. It's always sad when first-class people have to go. But he wanted to spread the word. Father Thomas will find more survivors. He'll begin a new community, build on what we've done here. Well, he is a brave man. Oh, you're looking much better, Dr. Mason. Yes, I'm much stronger, thank you. Major Coker tells me you're a Triffid expert. Well, yes. The Triffids are there in the country. Why are they always so passive? First, they were quite troublesome. I lost many friends. But then God intervened. Really? How did God do that? He answered our prayers. When the peaceful nature of our community became clear, the Triffids returned to the wood and killed no more. Do you know, I've, I've been amongst Triffids all my life, and... I've never known them to behave like that. We strive to live in harmony with nature. We intend no harm. They seem content with that. I was in your cellar. You know you have a, a generator down there. I could get it going for you, get you proper lighting, heating. No, I don't think so. But it would make things easier. <laughs> Come. Look, 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 look. Look at that tower. Men built that tower long before there was electricity or power tools. It wasn't easy, but it stands. I don't want things to be easy. I want them to be right. She may be a little eccentric, but if she's figured out a way to coexist with them, then what's... By it? being peaceful. We've both seen what the trippers can do. Look, Coca, they've got over 50 beehives out of there. All it takes is warm and weather. Then the trippers will be pollinated, and then they'll spoil, and then we'll have hundreds and thousands of new plants. Do you the rest of the world won't stand a chance. If we don't find a way to defeat the trippers, the human race will become extinct. I've marked the safe path through the woods, and God willing, it's only a mile. If you'll get there safe, find a vehicle. Thank you.
They're building a wall to keep the triffids out. Torrance is idea. But they all fight for Major Coco. Torrance gives the orders. Torrance seems to have an awful lot on his plate at the moment. I mean, why isn't Osman helping? I haven't seen that little creep in a while. <sighs> he got what he deserved. We found bits of him up on the heath after the Triffid attack. Never nothing could the other two. Nothing. Coco was all right. Didn't know the other bloke, though. So they really found nothing of the other two? Just what Thomas has got in that red box. Some bust-up old MP3 player. Oh, Troy. He's got Mason alive. Is he? I, I don't know. Torrance thinks he might be. Time for your broadcast, miss. Okay, thanks. Let's go. Join me in giving thanks and praise to Peggy, who has been chosen. Like Father Thomas and the others, to go out and build new communities. Dr. Mason, please, welcome, be seated. I know all about your new communities. I found Father Thomas's body in the woods, tied, sacrificed. 
Dr. Mason, do you know anything about beekeeping? The beehive is a symbol of the perfect harmonious society. Each bee has its appropriate place, its own task, and when the task is done, the bee is replaced quickly and efficiently. The hive acts as one, always for the good of the hive. Not for the good of the queen. Father Thomas was old. He could do nothing more for our little community. We cannot accommodate everyone who finds their way to our door. We have to prioritize. We have to make room. By feeding the surplus to the Triffids. The Triffids are also God's creatures. I did what God wanted me to do, what he told me to do. Outside these walls is chaos. Here, everything is customary, ceremonial, safe. As long as you do exactly as she says, as long as you abandon the weak and the helpless, Believe me, every one of you here will die before she does. I control the Triffids. Without me, you'll all be overrun. No one has the right to choose who lives and who dies. Stop them! Let him go. Let him go. <laughs> These people trusted you and you betrayed them. If you defy me, you will be damned. Three, two, one. Hello again. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you can hear me. You can always stay. Work with us as an equal. You think it's going to be easy? without me. I don't think they want it to be easy. They want it to be right. The Triffids know me. This community will not survive. I was thinking today about missed opportunities. Taking over London. Did you ever know the right thing to do? And then you hesitate. And then it was too late. And do you long for that chance again? Except yearning won't make it happen. Keep you company, so you know Joe is safe and well. Sometimes you have to act. Sometimes you have to make that chance happen again. This is Joe Clayton, Radio Britain. You take care. Come back soon, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I heard your latest broadcast. Who are you talking to? My father. But he's dead, isn't he? Oh, not to me, he isn't. For a minute there, I thought you were talking to me. I was thinking about my dad, and I missed the opportunity to be with him. How oh, I don't want to make the same mistake with you. What are you trying to tell me, Joe? That I've changed my mind. I want to have dinner with you. You're just saying that because you're scared. Well, I am scared, but... I know that you'll protect me. Better than anyone. Better than Major Coker. Well, he's supposed to be running the country, but as far as I can see, you, you're doing it all for him. And I have been ever since he died. <laughs> Triffid attack. 
Why didn't you tell me? I just didn't want to give you any more bad news. You see, I've been protecting you longer than you know. So you're the one that's in charge now. It's a new world, Joe. Yeah? We can be anything we want. We can do anything we want. Look at us. Look where we are. So do. Yes. When? Tonight. After my broadcast. I forced myself on. The pollination of the Triffids was inevitable. Once they spored, any hope of defeating them would be lost. Time was my greatest enemy. Calling all citizens sighted and blind, man, woman and child, this is the voice of Britain. Come to London and lay your burdens down. Here there is safety, food, and shelter. Here there is control. Here there is government, law, and order. Yes, it might be delivered by the gun or the boot. But you won't get into trouble as long as you're prepared to fight. As long as you're prepared to die. Because that's what you're going to have to do. Be prepared to fight and die so that this so-called government can live in luxury and pretend that it is not losing the war. Joe, what so are you doing? You'll get us in London. trouble. The Triffids are here too. If you've survived this far, don't go to the centre. Don't listen to me. The voice of Britain is a lie. I am Joe Plato, but I am not the voice of Britain. The voice of Britain is you wherever you are. What is going on? I told her! She won't stop talking! If you've survived this far, don't come to the center. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I told you to watch her. I, I, I saw her start. She was here. Well, she's not here now. Find her!
Don't shoot! What do you want? Don't come any closer. I'm not going to hurt you. But they will. Who? Triffids. They'll know you're here. Yeah. I know Triffids. I was stung. Everyone who gets stung dies. Not everyone. Come on, Susan. He's okay. I'm Bill. Mason. Who are you? My name's Imogen. She's my sister, Susan. Where are your parents? We don't want to talk about it. I'm going east to this house that I know, which I hope will be safe. Listen, I need a car. Do you have any idea where I can get one? We help you, you help us.
them. We'll be moving off in a second. Little music's not gonna hurt. Come on. Let's go. I can't see the name. Shining. Well, I think it's in a very secluded spot. It's probably not even marked. Probably. I haven't actually been there myself. You live there then? My father. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Hello, son. because of the Triffids. Aye. Uh, and no doubt you want my research so you can try and stop them. Come back from there! Be very, very careful. Really, your father? Yeah. He's scary. I heard that. Calling woman and child, this is the voice of Britain. Come to London and lay your burdens down. Here there is safety, food. And shelter. Nothing personal, Joe. But you do go on. <laughs> Two children, Bell. My, you are a dog. Sorry, this is, um, Susan and, um, Imogen. I, I met them on the way here. They agreed to, to, to keep me company. And to look after him. 
thank you for bringing him home. I was... Well, I, I, thought, I thought that you were... Come along, girls. It is so good to see. <laughs> ah, these belong to you. from the front. Go away. Huh. So. So this is what you do with your retirement. Be busy. When you devote your life to studying Triffids, they tend to take over. But it does have its compensations. Here is how we stop the Triffids. entirely new Trifford. One which would generate pollen that sterilizes rather than fertilizes. We extract pollen from the male specimen, modify it, fertilize the young female Trifford with it. She produces spores with the infertile strain. Simple. Elegant. But with the same genetic fix that got us in this mess in the first place. There are always unintended consequences, Bill, to everything we do. Sooner or later, someone's got to deal with them and make sense of what happened. Remind me of your mother. She was the genuine article, the real thing, a brilliant scientist interested only in knowledge for its own sake. Me, my motivation was a wee bit more practical. Oh, I've had the same picture with me for as long as I can remember. When that picture was taken, the future looked very bright for all three of us. The world, even. Yeah. I mean, look at it. Mother Nature's finally taken her revenge and reclaiming the planet. No one intended this, Bill. And now, given the consequences and the price that we both paid, do you think it was worth it? Do you? I can understand why you feel so angry. Angry? 
I was a wee boy, my mama just died, my dad, my dad. He just didn't seem to notice me. Too busy serving the world. And... No, 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 you know, you're right. I never made time for you. I didn't know how. Well, you're so young, and I did try, but... Without your mum... These triplets. I'd run to start sporing any day now. What have you got with your plans? I've got everything I need. Except a male. I've been hunting for one in and out of the old Trifford facility, but as of yet, no luck. I'll get you a male Trifford. Shooting. Reload. I need the practice. You don't need your mask. Yes, I do. And you should too. Mum and Dad don't. They're not Mum and Dad. They're Joe and Bill. Well, they're Mum and Dad to me. So that's his plan and you're going along with it. We have to try something before it's too late. Great, we spent our lives trying to avoid the shifts and then we end up back in a place that's going to grow them. Did you consider me and the girls? You were agreeing to go out and sacrifice yourself. Well, if you've got a better idea, I'd like to hear it. I suppose Dennis could do with that. Last time you and I were looking for a male Trifford, he came back with you. <laughs> I will come back. The clutch sticks a bit. Don't go over 50. And I would like it back exactly as it is. She needs to build her strength up if she's going to save mankind.
Richard! What are you doing here? I need help. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Yeah, I've noticed. Again. You did well, so. How did you do it? Yes. It's what Trifford sounds from the fire morning. I have a theory that different sounds provoke different emotions. And the proof? Try to identify the obvious emotions like fear and hunger, but. So complex and I barely scratched the surface. Your mother was of the same opinion. Our biggest fear was that we'd exploit the Triffids without understanding them. Trust me. I couldn't persuade her to leave Zaire. It was more than just oil for her. She recognized some indications of sensibility. They could communicate with she was convinced that if we didn't understand them thoroughly, we might live to regret it. She wouldn't let go. She just kept pushing and pushing. And in the end, she got too close. I miss her too. Yeah. You know, I... I always, uh, wanted to give you these. I never had the opportunity or the words. From Zaire. Your mother's recordings of Triffids. Once we've fertilized the female, maybe we can work on them together. Oh, maybe together we could uh, crack it. Oh. 
Ich schaffle. The truth is a spore. You knew this was going to happen. Not like this. Nothing like this. from one of the farms. Good boy, Troy. That'll be all. People on the Isle of Wight. There's more than 200 of them, and they want people to join them. They've got families, doctors, schools. <laughs> well, there's life, there's hope. But at least we have somewhere safe to go once we release a new breed of triffids. Oh, talking of which, feeding time. I'll be up in a minute. Mm -hmm. This is good. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Patience, little one. Patience.
I'm not. You're not. Oh, no, no! Mother. Your mother, she was right. No, I was so sorry. Please, no, don't talk. in Africa wasn't genetically modified so that could be the reason that the one your dad grew reacted to the sound perhaps the thought it was under attack I don't know can you start again no time <laughs> it's never enough time We can stay here a little longer, if you want to. There's nothing here for us now. We'll leave for the Isle of Wight first thing in the morning. Hello? Hello again. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you can hear me. I was thinking today about missed opportunities. Bill. Mm. Did you ever know that? the right thing to do? Mm. And then you heard it. Something's wrong. Let's hear something. Come on. Maybe out of fear. Do you long for that chance again? Except yearning won't make it. Imogen, happen. where's Susan? Sure. Nothing's wrong. Hello, Jim. You hurt her. Stop. Good child. Good boy, come on. As you can see, I've come with friends. Where's Susan? Where is she? Susan. Um, all tied up. She wouldn't cooperate. 
I want you to take her, put her with her sister, and watch her. <laughs> well, good to see you too, Jenna. Too if it's too much for you, Willie Torrance. Huh? <laughs> we had terrible trouble with the Trevors. They started using the underground tunnels as sewers. Not very exposing. But now, now you're gonna help us, Bill. Good job you didn't die, huh? So what do we do, eh? How do we stop the Triffids? I don't know. Well, that is very disappointing. Because I was relying on you. I said to Troy that. I said, Troy, you know who we need now to help us with the Triffids? It's Dr. Bill Mason. You'd better put your thinking cap on. It's too late. They've already spored. We either fight them or we give up. Or we could go to the Isle of Wight. I found a message from Major Coker. Why would you want to go to the Isle of Wight? You'd hate the Triffids. Oh, do I, Joe? Yes, you do, because they made you. I mean, without them, you're nothing. You're nothing but a jumped up little... You don't you touch her! You don't you touch her! Okay, finger off the trigger. Stay of execution. You got until tomorrow morning to come up with something! Something to get us all safely out of here and down to the coast. You do that, that'll be great. If you fail, I take Joe, kill you, I give the girls to the Triffids. Is it a plan? Okay. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Lock them up. CCTV and controls for the electric gates if the Triffids attack. This place Triffid proof, huh? Bring Mason to me. The solution to the Triffids is in my mother's recordings. It has to be. If we can use the sounds to communicate with them somehow, then maybe. We can control them. But we've only got until tomorrow morning. And the noise of those men will bring the Triffids. Yeah, well, we have to escape. We've done it before, and we will do it again. Torrance is not going to make the same mistake twice. So we have a much better chance against the Triffids than we do against Torrance. Triffids. What, Bill? The Triffids could be the answer. We use my Triffids recordings. We draw them in en masse as a distraction so we can get out. Well, it's a brilliant idea, but how are we going to get out surrounded by hundreds of Triffids? They'll kill us all. It'll be all right. They'll cause confusion and maybe, maybe it'll give us a chance to escape. Mr. Torrance wants to see you. Okay. I was upstairs in the laboratory. Looks like you had a bit of a problem. Dad don't make it. Is this your mommy? She's Foxy. Well, how's your plan getting on? You let me know when you come up with a solution. You go till dawn. Otherwise, I reunite you with mommy and daddy.
was the device? I did it. I put it outside. Trepids! Trepids! There's lines and lines of trepids! They're everywhere! Find this. Hold that. Bill, what have you done and done? Mason. No. Shoot the girls. Go, now. And be ready to put the electric fence on full power. My command. orders to shoot the girls. Troy, this is new. Stop it. There's no way that Torrance can get past the Triffids. We're leaving. C come with us. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Troy? Sir! Okay. Just wait here. I've got to get something. Stand by on the leather fence. My mark. Three. Two. One. Down. Switching them on now, sir. Switch it on now. On the electric fence. No! It's not working. Hold the line! Troy, you get on this radio and. Ashdown. Ashdown, pull back to the house. After this for me, will you? Okay. Come on. Come on, quick, come on. There he is, the traitor. 
Tony. Anyone remember this? Look. No! <laughs> Young love, very sweet. You're leaving without me. That's not very nice. We're making a run for the toilets. I mean, look, they're everywhere. <laughs> I know. They're gonna kill us all. Except you. I'm gonna kill you. Why don't you come with us? Huh? What, me? Well, I'm just a jumped up nobody. Ah! Torrance, come on. If anyone can get us through an army of Triffids, Torrance, it's you. Oh, nice try, Joe. Yes. <laughs> Them, Joe. What about you, Bill? Wear this. We have this. We have this. We have this. We have this. Mask. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, let me think. It's, it's a mask. The mask. The mask. We have this. And see. And see. And see. What's going on? Okay, it was Imogen. She helped me to remember. It was a night that my mother died. I remember. I know how we can get through this. Trust me. Do you trust me? You have to trust me. What are you talking about? You must wear this. This is Triffid poison. No, 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 it will no, save her. No. Wait, you can't. You'll kill her. It will save her. It will save us all. Please trust me. You have to trust me. Please. Please. Okay, okay. It's all right, sweetheart. We are coming. The trivia. It's all right, honey. It's all right, Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Ow! It's okay. It's okay. We did it. It's okay. Ow! Trust me. Stay still. Stay still. Trust. 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 We must all do this. Pain will pass.
So we left for our new home, where we found other families, other friends. The sea was our wall against the Triffids. We cleaned the aisle of them and our community started to grow again. Future generations will ask how it happened. How did the world get swallowed up so quickly? It was because we had our eyes closed, even when we could see. Thank you.